The BBC's Under Fire Director General has issued a groveling apology after Gary Lineker was forced to step back from presenting match of the day in a row over impartiality. Tim Davies said the star will return to hosting coverage this weekend and apologize to sports fans following the row. More than 210,000 Mirror readers have signed our petition to reinstate the broadcaster. Now, BBC bosses appear to agree that their decision to take him off air was wrong as they said sorry for the weekend chaos. The football legend has been hauled over the coals by bosses following his tweet on the government's asylum policies. The 62-year-old likened the Home Office's plans to Germany in the 30s, and refused to back down. Everyone recognizes this has been a difficult period for staff, contributors, presenters and, most importantly, our audiences. I apologize for this, Davy said after the corporation were slammed for the handling on the situation. The potential confusion caused by the grey areas of the BBC's social media guidance that was introduced in 2020 is recognized. I want to get matters resolved and our sport content back on air. Impartiality is important to the BBC. It is also important to the public. The presenter was suspended from the BBC for breaching impartiality guidelines and in a dramatic escalation the broadcaster has been met with a major backlash from many of Lineker's colleagues who boycotted. Match of the day was thrown into turmoil on Saturday and was reduced to a 20 minutes long show with no commentary after the mass walkout. Gary broke his Twitter silence by saying, I'd like to thank Tim Davy for his understanding during this difficult period. He has an almost impossible job keeping everybody happy, particularly in the area of impartiality. I am delighted that we'll continue to fight the good fight, together. Mr. Davy added in a lengthy statement, the BBC has a commitment to impartiality in its charter and a commitment to freedom of expression. That is a difficult balancing act to get right where people are subject to different contracts and on-air positions, and with different audience and social media profiles. The BBC's social media guidance is designed to help manage these sometimes difficult challenges and I am aware there is a need to ensure that the guidance is up to this task. It should be clear, proportionate, and appropriate. Accordingly, we are announcing a review led by an independent expert, reporting to the BBC, on its existing social media guidance with a particular focus on how it applies to freelancers outside news and current affairs. The BBC and myself are aware that Gary is in favor of such a review. Shortly, the BBC will announce who will conduct that review. Whilst this work is undertaken, the BBC's current social media guidance remains in place. Gary is a valued part of the BBC and I know how much the BBC means to Gary, and I look forward to him presenting our coverage this coming weekend. Gary returned to Twitter to thank the public and his colleagues for their support after a dramatic weekend. He posted, after a surreal few days, I'm delighted that we have navigated the way through this. I want to thank you all for the incredible support particularly my colleagues at BBC Sport, for the remarkable show of solidarity. Football is a team game but their backing was overwhelming. However difficult the last few days have been, it simply doesn't compare to having to flee your home from persecution or war to seek refuge in a land far away. It's heartwarming to have seen the empathy towards their plight from so many of you.
drama.